So final specifications of Intel's upcoming Comet Lake H mobility CPUs have leaked out from HD Technologia via video cards. Now the H series is the one that goes into the powerful laptops as opposed to the U series which goes into the ultrabooks and low powered variants. Now the TDP for all of these chips is set at 45 watts but considering the clock rates we could see it extending quite a bit further. Now these can be thought of as the SKUs in between traditional mobility and desktop parts. Sort of what Nvidia does with their desktop mobility GPUs. Now while the leaked slide deck only contains specifications, an 8 core that can boost up to 5.3 gigahertz on a mobility platform would be an extremely powerful setup. Now this is something we've expected considering AMD has gained the edge in IPC and Intel needs to up the clock speed to maintain competitiveness. Now the lineup is extremely impressive and if priced appropriately could definitely turn up the heat on the AMD parts that were recently launched. Now Intel already shown that they're ready to eschew their old pricing strategy with server parts and it's time to pass the same price cuts to mainstream parts. While this approach certainly works, it creates an issue famously known as the Silicon Ouroboros, a problem where 14 nanometer process gets so mature that transitioning to 10 nanometer actually result in lower performance as the IPC is not able to overcome the differential in clocks. One way that Intel could potentially deal with this dilemma is by shortening the shelf life of 10 nanometer, accelerating towards their own 7 nanometer and keeping 14 nanometer alive on the sidelines. It would be messy, but it could work to get Intel back on its feet as far as process competitiveness knows. In fact, we believe that Intel CFO has hinted at much that, and that's probably what they're planning to do. For more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.